All right, welcome to this week's Dirt Shared Show. I'm Neil Donoghue. I'm Blake Sampson. And we have a special guest, Jake Axon. There week. he is. Coming up this week's show, we're talking about rad parents. Do you need one to become an amazing mountain bike? You're a rad dad. Oh, thanks, Blake. It's all coming up on this week's show. So this week we're talking about rad dads because you're on, Blake. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Neil. And so are you, dude. Well, actually, we're talking about rad parents. We're talking are. about the next generation of people. We have a guest, Jake Atkinson, Slopestyle Rider. <laughs> You were voted the 2023 Red Bull Rookie of the Year by the FMBA. Yep. How does that feel? Yeah, it's um, quite a surreal feeling to be to be at that point in uh, in slope style this early on. But yeah, it's uh, it's, ex- it's all like, very exciting for me. Yeah. So you're off to Crankworks, to Rotorua next mm-hmm. month, and yeah, Cairns to pick that up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The next next two events for me will be yeah them two. Now so tell all big pressure. <laughs> yeah, I think it is a big. It's always good being a rookie, though. Yeah, for it's sure. It's like the underdog. You're like, yeah, man, whatever. To all those big dogs, I'm going to come get you. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, at some point. You're nipping at the ankles. Yeah. But tell us, and the beautiful viewers at home, how did you get rookie of the year? Uh, it all started well. Um, 2022, I like was my first year riding jump bikes. Um, from first year riding jump bikes. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. So it's a, a year or two. Yeah, well, yeah, 2022, I'd been, the start of 2022, I'd been on my jump bike like six months. And what? then I went rode like the first like little events in the UK. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah, last year, um, I got an invite to Switzerland to the Zuri Dirt Contest, which was a silver event, um, yeah, which I ended up winning. Uh, and then rode a few more silver events. Uh, got second in uh, Czech Republic, which got me enough points to get. Uh, the invite to the gold event to the mm. Rebel Roof Ride. Okay. Now, for all the viewers out there, what he's talking about is the FNBA. They're all staged by colours or by grades. So you've got bronze still? Yeah, bronze, silver, silver gold, and then diamond. And then which diamond. Is which, works. which is the, the, the big dogs notch. that you see, at, you know, out in Whistler at yeah. Joyride, yeah. Yeah. whatever it's called these days, massive slope star riders. And you've got people like types of athletes like Semenek and Cade who've kind of been well, Cade not really, he's kind of come from a different place, but the sort of future of slopes of athletes kinda of looks a little bit different to what it used to, but you're in that sort of competitive stage now. Yeah. And absolutely. you want to be up at the highest level competing with Emil and those big dogs. Yeah, I'd be yeah, that's like the plan is yeah, obviously to to get as high up that ladder as I can and stay there for as long as possible. But yeah, it's a very it's, it's a tough game of everyone's really in it to win yeah exactly and you got to get all your points to be in the diamond so is it yeah. like top how many 14 so it's just 14 the top 14 riders in the world, yeah. to be part of the diamond events pretty yeah. exclusive list yeah it's an exclusive list yeah but we got thinking because your dad it turns out is your biggest fan he got in touch <laughs> yeah, with us absolutely. <laughs> but you also ride with him as well yeah we yeah we ride all the time like yeah at least e- yeah probably twice a week we ride what so, e-bikes mountain biking and skate parks but yeah mostly skate parks he mostly? still rides yeah what is he got BMX then he doesn't no he rides a he rides a old I don't even know I can't even remember what it is I don't know a really old jump bike though like it's Ashley like, or something Curtis no it's a, oh, it's a Diamondback Do- it's, it's uh, Ashton Diamondback the brown and silver one with the yellow on it. The one that the first one that Pilgrim ever rode. Ashton Diamondback. Yeah, that's where he rides. No way, he's got one of them. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, so he rides that. Nice. So presumably your dad's like he's helped you get into it because he's yeah. always ridden bikes. Does he mm-hmm. push you at all, or is he just supportive? No, he just he just comes and rides and he's just, yeah, just he's not a full moto dad. Like, no, no. Come on, do this. I know he doesn't care. He just, just comes and watches. And I think that's fun. the best way to do it. Yeah, yeah it's push. interesting. It's got us thinking about, or well, me particularly, because like you know, people my dad's age weren't really kind of pro extreme or action sports mm. athletes. Nowadays, you can have people like oh. 
their kids, you know, this, the you know, from other sports, look at people like the Tomax, John, yep. and then Eli in motocross. Yep. Well, mountain bike and motocross. Deegan's, yep. Angel Boy Deegan, his son. He does moto, and then his daughter does trophy truck yeah, racing. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Yeah. Dougie the... Lampkin's family. Yeah, I mean, they're generations of trials. The Hemingway's in the UK. Harry yep. Hemingway's a really good up-and-coming yep. trials rider. But also, mountain biking, there's people like Tracy Mosey, she's got a son, Rachel yeah, Rachel, yeah. The future of mountain biking coming there, who knows? Who knows? Maybe they won't push it on them because they know how hard it is. You don't know. Potentially, yeah. But I guess you need that support to get you going. Blake, what do you think you'll do with your kids? Well, I don't know, Neil. I think I would, wouldn't would push them. I'd be happy for them to do it. They can pursue whatever they want to do, but... Mm, I'm the same. To them. The bikes are there if they want to ride them. Yeah, they're there, for sure. I think that's the best way. I think yeah. what I'd love to do is go ride with them. That would be oh, the best. Oh, that's the best. And I do already. Like bit. you're doing right now with yeah, your dad. so good. Cool. Yeah, Imagine right that. Let's go to the skate park. Dad, go on, drop in, flare that. Imagine he did that. We get him to do flips and stuff to foam. Oh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> How old is he? Dad? Get, he gets peer pressured. Uh, fifty-four. That's pretty good. Class. Yeah, four. Close time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got. I mean, I could, I could flip into foam. I've proved that before. Oh, you have. Yeah, he has. You can flip. You can flip. You can flip. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, who is the raddest dad out of me and Blake? Actually, I don't think it's either. I don't think it's. I think it's your dad. <laughs> Your dad's rad. Yeah, he's cool. He's <laughs> anyway, cool. on that bombshell, let's head over to Toff and Tom for the news and sickest thing. What's up, everyone? Big news from Canyon this week with yesterday's launch of the new Spectral. The trail bike drops 10 mil of travel to become a 140 rear 150 front. There are 29er or mixed wheel options in sizes small to XL, and we gain some storage in the down tube with a handy pouch to keep it all rattle free. Standard on all models, Canyon have added the KIS steering stabilizing system to all Spectrals without an increase in price. But if it's not for you, you can remove it and use a blanking plate. There's some neat overlapping protection on the loam shelf to stop that lower linkage getting dirt build up. Four models, the CF Limited on screen now, weighing 14.5 kilos and coming in at 6,999 euros. At the lower end of the things, the CF7 build gains a kilo in weight, but costs you 3,399 euros. Whilst we're on Canyon News, Jack Menzies is confirmed to be joining the collective on the enduro front, as is DJ Brown for Freeride. Aaron Gwynn has revealed not only will Gwynn Racing be using Crestline bikes, but he's now part owner of the brand too. After some fantastic results last year, it's awesome to see Gaetan Vijay join the Propane Positive crew. Hopefully we can link up with those guys this year. Oli Davis joins the Commensal Schwalbe team alongside Palmer Nayo Busquets and Austin Dooley. Remy Morton joins Specialized and Tocato Tester joins the NS Bikes roster. Rachel Pago is the latest rider to pick up an OnlyFans sponsorship, $6 a month to support her. Renthal have released some new flat pedals available in black or their traditional alu gold and costing £154.96 per pair. Giro has a new lightweight full face helmet, the Coalition, which features their spherical tech, lots of ventilation, three sizes and four colours. Mokoff have released a ride pack and a new chain brush, £14 for the brush, £200 for the pack. Another big release yesterday, SRAM released the Maven brakes, definitely a gravity focused these. SRAM claimed that these mineral oil stoppers are the most powerful brakes that they've ever made with 50% more stopping power than a code generated from 32% less input force. There are four huge pistons, four huge bolts through the caliper to generate stiffness, XL pads for that braking surface. When heat builds up, these things get going designed to maintain airtight pressure at extremely high temperatures. The lever is reminiscent of the new code lever which surfaced last year, running closer to the bar with a bearing on that lever too. Four models of these in ascending order, bronze, silver, ultimate and ultimate expert. The bronze pair will set you back £200 and the ultimate a penny under £600. Almost there this week, so much good stuff coming out. Privateer Bikes have released the 141 and the 161. Now this one feels like it's been ages. The engineer behind the bike, Dan, is a friend of mine, so I've seen this thing out in the wilds of South Wales for what feels like forever already. Hyper progressive, some real smart touches on it, like the fact that it's rated for a downhill fork, flip chippable to run a 29er or 650B wheel out back, side specific chain stays, and gaps around the bearings that are large enough for mud and material to pass through instead of clogging. That combined with those huge main bearings and double sealed everything makes this alloy bike a killer in the winter. It's weighty on paper, but that 80 degree seat angle helps you winch away quite happily. A frame set and X2 shock will set you back just £1,979, or there's an on-screen build for £4,379. Last but not least, thoughts go out to everyone affected by the wildfires in Christchurch, New Zealand. The Crankworx summer series set to take place in and around the Port Hills has rather sensibly been cancelled. That's all from me this week. Let's go see what Toff's got for sickest thing.
about this week's sickest thing has to be this new video from Ryan Middleton and Shredder Magazine called Style 5. It's the latest in the series which they started back in 2016 and they're always good. Apart from Ryan's riding, which is obviously sick, shouts the strict knee policy. I think it's cool how this part puts respect on old school video parts from a time when it was, well, actual analog video. This was done by filming on a mixture of HD and film cameras and then playing the footage back through a VCR and then recording the clips to create the most real VHS feeling possible. There's some sick clips in here, such as a seat bounce one foot Euro table, the gap to tire slide and the turn bar slider drift thing. Anyway, it's definitely worth checking this one out. But that's my sickest thing this week. Time to go back to the shed. We've got some questions for you, Jake. Starting with, who's your favourite athlete? I think, yeah, my, probably my favourite to, to watch now is Emil, because that's sort of like where the, where the bar is. So it's obviously, the, for me, the best is to look at the best, see what's possible, to want to progress to that point in, in my riding. So, yeah, I think him right now, yeah, for sure. Emil is incredible at riding. It's insane. I've got a question for you, because you ride a lot of skate park, and there's yeah. a lot of them in the skate park. Scooters. Now, are scooters vital to the, the what do you call it, the um, progression, progression the, the, revolu the evolution of slope style or BMX as well? Um, I, don't know, I wouldn't say vital, but I think they can definitely, definitely put a, a new aspect of what's possible because mm -hmm. obviously there's more, more gets done on a scooter than on any other skate yeah. park device usually, so... I think, it, yeah, it allows more possibility in the other worlds of action sports, for sure. Yeah, because I've seen a few BMXs have come from scooter. Scootering, and they're very, very good. Oh, so, they are yeah, very good. Definitely. And then if you, I guess if you can go from BMX to mountain bike. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, it's a tough one. Final one, what's the next big sort of trick on your hit list, a banger that you want to try now? I'd, I'd, I'd like to get... Um, uh, like twisters consistent. I've done like two ever, but something like that is something I'd like to practice and actually know I can do every year. So. Okay. Right, for the, well, yeah, for, for the beautiful viewers out there, what I is no a twister? No idea what I just said. It is, <laughs> uh, it is a front cork 1080, so a 720 and a front flip, effectively. There we go. Three full rotations. So you do need to know where you are in the air? Yeah. Kind of. Or get really lucky. <laughs> <laughs> One of the two. Hey, it's so have crazy you done tricks. double flips? I have, yeah. I don't like them though. I don't. I'm I, guessing that it's just a flip you pull really hard on, or is yeah, it? Yeah, they are flips? very well. They're easy to do to like a foam pit, but to have consistently on big jumps, it's hard and terrifying. Yeah. Have you tried? I know. I've tried. Yeah. I ended up backwards. Backwards. I can't even flip straight. Oh, cool. No double flips. They're definitely not straight. Definitely don't. It ends up being like a flip three. Anyway, that's quite good. Anyway, anyway, look, can I, one more question? Go for it. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? It's like a five year plan. Five year plan. I don't know, hopefully still riding events. That's the... Hopefully you ride the top, yeah? Yeah, right at the top, riding mm -hmm. the comps would be, would be the, would be the best case scenario. Worst case scenario, trials, which is still a great option. Still riding with your dad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll still be in the skate park. You'll still be in the skate park. Oh, well, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah cheers, Jake. Thank you. We shall continue with the show. Hey, don't forget you can listen to the Dirt Shed Show on podcast you audio can. form if you want on all those audio services plus YouTube Music. So if you don't like the look of our faces, <laughs> who would? Be like what we're saying, then yeah. hit them up. You do have a voice for podcast. Thank you. So. Today. It's a compliment. Also, this is a really amazing cause. Riders unite to help support a BMX icon, Stephen Murray. Try and uh, help support them get this bike. They're super expensive to get him back out on the trail. Stephen, who I rode with back in yeah. the day, amazing BMX rider. I looked up to him. I did, yeah. Yep. Uh, and his brother Martin as well is a, is a friend of GMBN. So yeah, great family and I'd love to see Stephen ride a bike as well. Follow the link if you want to support him get back out on the trails. Perfect. Now it's time for Hacks and Bodges. Let's see him. Oh, I got some beauties, Neil. Are they? Yes. Now, first off, we've got this one from Jamie. It's, uh, it's from Suffolk. Yeah. And... I've had this issue before. I've actually got one on the camper van where your percolator doesn't fit on the grill to your gas oh, hob. So yeah. you just get a disc, a rotor, 
put it on there. Oh, Perfect. It looks dangerous. I don't know why it looks dangerous, but... But those things take heat. Why are you going super fast down a mountain? Yeah. It's not going to blow up. But it's brilliant. You know what? No, I've heard of those percolators exploding. I don't know why they would. We've got, must have got blocks on them. Boom. They so are I, a I always steam bomb. Yeah. stand back. Well, I haven't used mine for a long time. Oh, anyway. But a good coffee bit of ingen I, I do ingenuity. Like ingen ingenuity. That's it. Well yeah. done. Ingen ingenuity. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. What is it? This one's from Trink Trinks? Trinks. Trinks from Australia. Oh, hey. Howdy. That's not Australian, is it? <laughs> good day. Good day. No, oh, put another shrimp on the barbie. But this <laughs> one's really good. Yeah. So he, this is a cassette tool. He's got a 20 mil. Uh, spanner. 21 mil. Get, get it right. One mil out. I was looking at the two and the zero of the bolt hole. Oh. Alright. It says 21 on the spanner. It does That's say 21 work. on the spanner, so sorry. <laughs> 21 mil cut mm. and he has a car wheel nut and he welded wow. it together and now oh. he can take his free That's free a wheel good up. idea. That's very clever. Because you get, part of tool do that one where it's like the free, the, what do you call it, the chain. What do you call that? Tool. Yeah, tool. Yeah, cassette removal tool, that's what I call it. And yeah. Then, yeah, with a bar on it. I'm glad we don't do tech, Neil. Do tools. We do tools. But check a look at this next You're one. You're a tool. <laughs> there it is. That's what he's welded together. Good welding, Blake. Better than you could weld it. Better than I could weld. Actually, I've done some good welding, Neil. This is very, it's coming out very keep soon. keep that secret. I'm keeping that a secret. All oh, right. I actually built a full suspension on my garage. What? Yep. Don't believe you. Coming out soon. I mean, I have seen it. And? Brilliant. Hack or a bodge? <laughs> You, have you ridden it yet? And no. The, then we'll find out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, if you want to get involved with Hacks and Bodgers, there's a link in the description down below to our uploader. Upload your Hacks and Bodgers, likewise to your bike vault, which is coming up very soon in the show. But who's a winner to that? Oh, I was going to say, as you know, the bigger the bodge, the better. Yep. I like the catchphrase, it rolls off the tongue. I'm going to go with Trinks in Oz, with yep. a welding uh, cassette tool. I like it. Very good, we like it? homemade tools. One I do of love some of my favourite bodges. Hacks, actually. Hacks. Hacks, not bodges. So, yeah. Trinks, send us details. We'll send. Uh, what are we sending? I'm going to send race jersey. Race jersey. It's coming your way. GMBN shop shout out. We've got two new jerseys. Fresh off the press, Neil. You and I looking mighty fine out there in the Spanish sun. We did. Yeah. We, we modelled for these. We One, did. the riser long sleeve comes in Shrewsbury Town football colours, colours, mm -hmm. and then the duo tone, which is kind of grey, kind of blue. I like that one. I'm more of a you know subdued colour. Subdued. Probably color. no surprise. No. Keep it stealthy. Yeah. The rocket. And as ever, we have the maintenance book. If you want to learn how to look after your bike, jump in there, get mm -hmm. the book. It's got loads of stuff now. How many pages? Yeah. Is it? It's hundreds. There's actually hundreds in there, Neil. Yeah. And uh, you get my god with that. Do you? You get my god. Great for February in the UK. Things we like this week. You haven't done yours. I filled mine out. You haven't filled yours out. I like Jackson Goldson for lots of reasons, but primarily this Shralp because it's the oh. Alto, Alto Shralp. Is that out in yeah. down under? Yep. Whoa! Look at that. It's like a double double tire sealant Shralp, and this is fresh off that whip he did just the other week. Uh, that was in New Zealand, oh. which was also top tier social media. Mm. So maybe we're just shouting out Jackson Goldson this well, week. Well, I do have a shout out. Oh, go on then. I'm going to shout out to Jake Atkinson, oh. our beautiful dude that was in here right now. Amazing rider. Take a look at this. He's His like, Instagram is... It's incredible. Top tier. Is he the future of Slopestyle? Oh. We'll find out this I'll year, like I guess. I think so, yes. Caption contest from, well, look who it is, me and you. Oh, uh, hang on, wait. It was one of them. It was a big old hug. And I was reacting to it. What was I doing? Uh, you were sure. looking awkward. Some yeah. funny comments. One from Greg Maximov, who says, just the two best GMBM presenters. Oh, oh, I mean, having some fun in the sun. We don't rank GMBM presenters, but if we did, ha, I wouldn't be in the top two. I was going to rank you. Okay, you <laughs> I won't give it to you. But you are supporting the New Jersey there. Is that yes. New Jersey? Sporting, in fact, it is. It's kind of more green in the sunshine yeah, than it looks on the on my screen. Yeah. What are the caption con, con, uh, contests? Dan Cornfeld says, Blake, look, I found out where Doddy went. <laughs> where? I don't know. Australia. We were in down? Spain. That sort of makes sense. Oh, yes, yeah, no. Yeah. This is what I didn't like, but it's funny. Jack Golden says, Neil and Blake feel closer than ever after testing the new colonic irrigation kit from Camelback. That made, oh, why are you laughing? That made me why feel, is he laughing? That made me feel a bit weird. That, that made me feel. That actually makes me feel weird. No, I don't <laughs> want to hug you. 
But it's quite funny, I suppose. I guess. I guess. Good ha, enough ha. to win a stump mark. Where, where is a stump mark? There's a stump mark. Grab a stump mark. It's not been thrown because Martin's not here this week. So um, we won't throw it. No, it's dangerous. Isn't it? it is dangerous. There you go. Anyway, well, that was an incredible. Jake stump. Alden, it is coming to you. Not being thrown. <laughs> anyway, this is this week's caption contest. Take a look at this. Oh, weird. Leave your disturbing comments uh, down below. Hashtag caption contest. Coming up on GMBN. Oh, I just kicked stump, Mark. Uh, next week, what we got, Blake? Oh, tomorrow, Neil. Girona epic ride, mountain bike in heaven. It is to me. We, I thoroughly enjoyed it. We checked out the Girona scene. There's yep. a lot of pros out there, cross-country downhill. Yep. Some amazing riding. So we uh, we fill you in on what we think about the place. And you, Neil? I thought it was brilliant, yeah. Want to go back, don't we? I do want to go back. Uh, plus, on Sunday, we've got the science behind clips. Are they really more efficient? That involved me and Girona pedalling a lot with power cranks on to work out the differences. And, and actually another... Well, I'll tell you. Don't, no spoilers. <laughs> uh, actually, Blake and... No, sorry, that's you. Martin and Rich talk about the best and the worst bikes they've ever ridden. Ooh. Coming up. What day is that? That's on Monday, I think. That's on Monday. That would be an interesting one. A lot coming up this week, so stick around. Don't forget to hit the bell notification as well so you actually get notified every time the video drops. Now into the bike vault. Of course, we are checking out your bike, so you can submit them using the link down below the video. Check, throw your bikes into the bike vault and we'll see what they're like. We're starting off with... with an e-bike, Neil. That is an e-bike. Steve's High Bike All Mountain 10. First big ride on my new bike. <gasps> Freshy. Nothing better than riding a new bike, Neil. What is the worst thing could be if you got some of that brash stuck in your back when I snapped your Mac off? Because that could happen. That definitely can happen. What do you reckon? Nice, 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 nice. Where's the shoes? Nice. 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 Jumping in. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, I don't know. Owen has got a 2023 apparently. Specialised Stump Jumper Evo Pro. I like the look of these bikes. I'm a big fan of those. I like a white frame, but I don't really like white other parts. They've got to be, you know, white rims don't like. Black rims, nice, but no. white frames. Don't really white tyres? Look at those pedals, what are they? The super long pedals, flats. Spanks? Mm, don't know. I like them. What are you calling that? Super nice? I think so. Super nice. Carbon Rover wheels. Maybe. Yeah. Ooh. Going a blast. This is Henry's bike in Lake Forest, Lake Michigan, USA. Wow. Out exploring in an awesome local ravine. Look at that. Wow. Rock Don't rock. get stuck in a ravine, dude. Don't get stuck down there. I have to chop your arm off like matey boy. Yeah. Uh, Rocket Ron tires. What, what are you saying, Blake? I think it's nice, Neil. Oh, it's nice. I think it's nice. Oh, Ooh, wow. Bluey. Rocky Mountain Instinct Carbon from Tyson in Wisconsin. Okay. Just finished my final build, Fox Factory 38. But that's race face next, our cranks, Ergon Saddling Grips. Oh, dude, can Hope I... Hope breaks. Can I say super nice on that? Oh, yeah, that's cool, isn't it? I think it's super nice. Super nice, dude. Look at that. Matchy, matchy. I'll be proud of that. Oh, okay. That. Nice location. Hilton, Bit South backlit. Africa. Where is it? Hilton, South Africa. Who had him in here? <laughs> Giant stance. Spy right. lacquer. It says Grant. Was it Grant? Grant. Grant. Uh, Pete and Ritzburg to the south. Uh, stunning, it is stunning panorama. The fire as well, man, it's crazy. Yeah. Midmar to the north and Drakensburg Mountains to the west. I do like his uh, zebra bottle. Oh, uh, yeah. Get attacked by a lion, surely. Be Definitely. Careful. I really like that. That's a cool I, picture. I think it's super nice. <laughs> Super nice vibes. Wow. Trek slash nine, Gen Get 6. Get a high pivot on that bit. Brown Spanker, it's Neil's bike, Holden Forest. Supposed to be a good place to ride. Yep. Uh, uh, Neil says, been drooling over this since it's been released. Personalised it with DMR bars, stem and pe ergon pedals, ergon contact points and ultimate forks. Man, I love it. Dude, that is That is nice. a cool combo. I like the colour of that Zeb up front. Okay. Oh, do you like the colour? It's got to be super nice. Yes. Ooh. Oh. That, that is the first Atherton bike I've seen. Mm, I think we had one the other week. Because okay. I think I remember saying that. Uh, That's very nice. I Ian's do like him. Atherton AM 170 in the Guida Forest, North Wales. Good riding. And he's right got there. a PE's bottle. 
It's got a Zeb with, but an Odin Shocks. He's got the yellow stickers on the Zeb, makes it look factory. Mm, it does look factory, though. Look at it. What is that? Mixed wheel size? He looks it. I like that. Very nice. Have you rung the bell already? No, I've rung it straight away. Ooh. I gotta, I gotta admit, I do love a hardtail. I'm a sucker for all black with tan walls. Tan walls, yeah. Orange crushed, 29. After years of riding on the roads, I bought a gravel bike and very quickly realised that mountain biking was what I should have bought. <laughs> Very good. Sorry, I haven't got your name. Sorry. No. Nice bike, Orange. Another oh, orange. another Orange! This is a 5. 2009. I do like the orange bits. Miles Lucky Bomber up front. Yep. But DMR bars. Hope bits. Every orange has to have hope bits on it. Let's go back a step. Maybe it, that one doesn't. It doesn't have orange. No. But no. look at the PT's. Uh, yeah, to wrap. To wrap. There. Oh, propane. Finishing on a propane no, tie dude. out. 275. Jonathan's bike, Come Calm, Trail Centre, South Wales. Out hey. hey with the friends, enjoying the weekend, a mental reboot. Nice bike, Jonathan. Very nice bike, Jonathan. Love it. That is it from this week's Dirt Shed Show. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for Jake for popping in yep. and look forward to watching him ride this year. Get involved in the comments. If you are a rad parent, tell us if you like encouraging your kids or if you love going riding with your kids and tips for taking and riding and getting them into it as well. Oh, yes. And we'll see you next week. See ya. Jackson Goldston's dad's rad. He is. Yeah. Brian. Brian.